Hey everybody, it is your boy NCO7 here. Welcome to another review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Puyo Puyo 7 for the PSP. And uh, if in case you couldn't tell from the footage, uh, this is a Japan only game, but I imported this, so I'm going to review it regardless just because I want to talk about Puyo some more. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Starting off with the presentation of the game. Now, Puyo Puyo 7 is, I believe, the latest of the mainline Puyo Puyo games, even though it came out like 12 years ago. Uh, but this is a more mainline Puyo Puyo game. It, I mean, do I really need to explain Puyo that much? Just look at the screen. It's a puzzle game. Colored blobs fall down and you try to make combos and whatnot. I, I, you can probably tell from just the gameplay footage alone. I don't really need to explain it that much. There are a couple new features here, but I'll get into that more once we get into the actual gameplay. But honestly, presentation-wise, there isn't really a lot to say. <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say about it, though I will say visually the game looks oh, pretty good. I mean, it's a PSP game from like 2009, so it doesn't look amazing. It probably looks better on other devices. And whatnot because it released on other consoles but for the psp it looks fine i will admit though i think the art in some areas could be a little better but hey this is one of the earlier games so i'm not it's not really that big of an issue but so yeah <laughs> not really much else to say presentation wise it's a puzzle game so i don't really have much to say about it other than it's pretty good and then this next the story now <laughs> I don't have actually any real comments on the story because it's all in Japanese and I don't understand Japanese and I'm not even going to try to learn Japanese because Japanese is like really not easy. There's like three like alphabets. I, I know I don't understand the game, so I can't really comment much on the story. There is a story mode in the game, but I have absolutely no idea what is going on. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. You let me know in the comments what the story is. So, I'm going to assume it's all right. And now moving on to the gameplay. The real meat and potatoes. Because, honestly, it's a puzzle game. Of course the gameplay is the biggest deal. So, like I mentioned before, it's pretty similar to the other Puyo Puyo games. Where essentially colored blobs fall down. And if you connect four of them together, then they make... A then they pop, essentially, and they drop all of the ones above down. So essentially, you just have to go for chains and combos and whatnot in order to eliminate your opponents. The difference here, though, is that there's a couple other modes. There's like one mode that was taken from Puyo Pop Fever, where essentially a meter will fill up over time, and eventually you'll be able to do some huge amounts of chains and whatnot and a lot of damage. But then there's a couple new things, specifically the transformation mode. Essentially, when the meat, essentially, it's kind of similar to that of fever where you have a meter you have to fill up. Except this time when you fill it up, either the Poyos will be very big or they'll be very small. When they're very big, they are, you can pop them with only three chains and they're a lot bigger. So essentially, there's not as much space let you can use. It's honestly not that bad, but it's it's all right and then they can also get smaller as well and essentially it's kind of just another form of the fever chains where there's just a bunch of chains built up that are presets but eh whatever i like the transformation mode even though it does feel like a bit of a different version of that of just fever mode but eh whatever and there's a couple of other modes in there as well like there's a mode where you can just have the offsetting off and whatnot to, and whatnot there's not really not really a lot else to say. You can play with other people as well, you hooking up like PSPs together, but I don't know anyone else that even has a PSP near me, let alone even has a copy of this game. <laughs> so yeah, but honestly, gameplay wise, there isn't really much to say about it. I will say that playing it on the PSP is a little crammed because I'm not gonna lie, the PSP is a little too small for my hands at times, but if I could just get them just right, it, it's, it works pretty well. It's not really even that big. It's not a big deal at all. It's just a little, little, little thing. It's not even really the game's fault. But yeah, gameplay-wise, it's pretty solid, as a puzzle game should be. And control-wise, it works as well as you could expect. I mean, it's what it should do, so moving on. Next, moving on to the content. Now, I don't know how much this game costed, but I costed cost it <laughs> yep that's that's a word we use now i don't know how much the game cost when it came out but 
it has enough content. It's a puzzle game. You could play it pretty much for the rest of the time. There's not really a lot for me to say. You have multiple different modes you can choose from and whatnot. You also can play some of the modes without a computer opponent, so that way you could just kind of practice them. There's not really a lot to really say. I do a, I, I struggle to really say anything because I kind of just talked about it, and honestly, content-wise, it's perfectly fine. Next, the music. Music, I don't really have a lot to comment on. Honestly, the music in this game isn't that bad, but it's not as memorable as the later games in the series, specifically Tetris and Tetris 2. Those ones have better soundtracks. Honestly, even I even feel that Puyo Pop Fever had a few more unique music that could stick in my head. And while some of it in this game sticks in my head, not a lot of it does, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's, it's still a good soundtrack, it's just it doesn't really stick in my head as much as I would want it to. And yeah, so that pretty much concludes the review. I do apologize, I can't really go in detail on a lot of things because it's kind of difficult to really do that because first of all, the game's in Japanese, so I don't really have any comments on anything relating to like text or like story or anything like that. And it's a puzzle game at the end of the day. So is there really much I need to say at all? <laughs> Not much, but I still like this game quite a bit and yeah, honestly, it's the main game that I actually play on my PSP, though I don't have a lot of them yet. Also, side note, uh, don't tell anyone this, but I actually played this game in the bathroom at work sometimes. Uh, don't tell anyone, though. <laughs> but anyways, on my scale from 0 to 10, I give Puyo Puyo 7 for PSP a 7.8 out of 10. It's a pretty good puzzle game, but there's not really a lot of a reason to get the game. Honestly, the only reason I bought it was just because I'm a Puyo Puyo fanboy, I guess you could say. But... Honestly, there's not really a reason to get this, unless you're just curious and whatnot. And honestly, if you even want to play it, I believe there's even, like, emulators online that have the game in English. So, yeah, knock yourself out with that. But, <laughs> anyways, that's all I'm really going to say for this review. I'm not going to really, I'm not going to ask anyone else what their thoughts are, because I'm pretty sure that most people have probably never even heard of this game, let alone played it, so... <laughs> I don't know, but honestly, but with that all being said, thank you guys for watching me just stumble with everything, because that's kind of what I do in these videos. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button, and if you want to see more Puyo Puyo content, well, I have other reviews of the other games, and a couple other Puyo Puyo videos, I actually have a couple other Puyo Puyo videos planned for, the, for 2022, so that'll be happening soon, and... Yeah, it's NCSO7, signing out. Peace.